Did you know a volcanic eruption nearly 2,000 years ago turned a man's brain into glass? In 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius unleashed its fury, burying the Roman cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum in a catastrophic eruption. While Pompeii is famously frozen in time by ash, the nearby coastal town of Herculaneum faced a different, even more terrifying fate superheated pyroclastic flows. These weren't just ash. They were avalanches of searing gas and volcanic matter, reaching temperatures of up to 510 degrees Celsius or 950 degrees Fahrenheit. Centuries later, as archaeologists excavated Herculaneum, they unearthed incredible finds, buildings, objects and even people, remarkably preserved by the volcanic debris. But in the 1960s, within the Collegium Augustalium, a civic building, something truly extraordinary was discovered. Lying on a bed, the remains of a man were found but it was inside his shattered skull that researchers noticed something unusual. A shimmering black glassy material. Could it be? Was it possible that the intense heat of Vesuvius had vitrified, turned to glass, a human brain? Initial studies suggested yes, but the claim was met with skepticism. Scientists debated pyroclastic flows while hot weren't thought to cool rapidly enough to cause vitrification. Was this glassy substance even brain tissue at all? Now in 2025, a new study published in Scientific Reports has reignited the mystery and provided compelling evidence. Researchers propose a new explanation. A superheated ash cloud preceding the pyroclastic flow first rapidly heated the man's brain to over 500 degrees Celsius and then, just as rapidly, cooled, causing vitrification. Microscopic analysis of the glassy material reveals astonishing details. Remnants of brain cells, neurons and even axons perfectly preserved within the glass structure. This glass brain is not just a macabre curiosity. It's a scientific marvel. Glass formation in organic tissue is incredibly rare, requiring very specific conditions of extreme heat and rapid cooling. This discovery offers unprecedented insight into the eruption dynamics of Mount Vesuvius. It suggests that the initial ash cloud, previously underestimated, was even more lethal than pyroclastic flows, killing instantly with extreme heat before the city was buried. But the implications extend beyond ancient history. Vesuvius remains an active volcano, looming over modern-day Naples. Understanding the precise mechanisms of its eruptions, including the role of these superheated ash clouds, is crucial for predicting and preparing for future events. The glass brain from Herculaneum is a chilling reminder of Vesuvius's power, but also a unique window into the past, offering vital lessons for our present and future. It's a mind-blowing revelation from nearly 2,000 years ago that continues to reshape our understanding of history and the ever-present forces of nature.